My name's Angelo, and welcome to We Want Picks. Every single week, we break down full UFC fight cards. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. And we're also giving away $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets, signs up with one of our five betting partners, and makes a deposit will get $50 from us. Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, however you want it. And this is brought to you by EarnU.io. EarnU.io is the world's first sports and esports prediction game, allowing you to earn crypto risk-free. Check it out now at EarnU.io. Next up at UFC Vegas 55, we have Omar Morales taking on Uros Medic. Omar Morales 11-2 overall. 3-2 and two in his last five, coming off a submission loss where he was taken down six times in two rounds. Oros Medic, 7-1 overall, 4-1 and one in his last five, and he's coming off the first loss of his career. Omar Morales is a good kickboxer with really nice kicks and solid takedown defense at 63%. But if you remember, his takedown defense was 90% before his last fight. He is very strong. He likes to come forward. But it's interesting because he doesn't charge forward. He just ends all of his combinations with a forward step. So he's constantly plodding forward, working his way forward very methodically. And before you know what's going on, he's walked you down. He's holding center. He has you against the cage. And he does not have a ton of offensive takedowns in the UFC. He only has three takedowns total in his entire UFC career. But he has a 100% takedown accuracy. And based off of Earl Smedic's last fight, we may see Omar Morales look to grapple. Earl Smedic is a striker. He's got legit power and fantastic technique. He comes out fast, but he can also be a little wild. He's absolutely a kill or be killed first round fighter because he has a 100% finish rate in eight fights. And he's only seen the second round one single time. And it was for less than one minute. Coming into his last fight, we just didn't know how Earl Smedic would handle adversity. And we do now, and it's not very well. He was taken down easily. He offered absolutely nothing on the ground. And then he was just blasted until he was submitted. But with that being said, he's got speed, power, legit killer instinct. And when he smells blood, he goes for broke. And it's an interesting fight because we have two strikers coming off of losses where they were dominated with grappling. Striking-wise, I think Urus is probably the more dangerous striker potentially even the more technical one. But Omar is definitely the more well-rounded fighter, and he has the ability to mix things up really, really well. I think Omar's physical strength and just a touch of grappling is going to be the difference here. So I like Omar to win a decision, but he definitely needs to survive that first round and worry about the pressure of Uros Medic. But both their last fights were real interesting. They were just absolutely dominated on the ground. And last thing is, I mentioned Omar Morales taken down six times in two rounds. All that tells me is how well he gets up. So he's tough. He gets up. Obviously, he ended up getting submitted. But what do you think, Jackie Lutz? Yeah, I, I see this almost exactly like the last fight we just broke down, the Jonathan Martinez-Vince Morales fight. This is now Omar Morales, where <laughs> if Omar Morales wants to win this fight, he needs to be the pressure guy. If you, if you let Euros keep the distance – I mean, he's going to pick you apart. He's, he's one of the best kickboxers, you know, maybe in the division. You know, he's just so dynamic and powerful with his striking that you got to close that distance. And as you mentioned, maybe throw in some takedowns because we saw Euros getting taken down by, by Jalen Turner. I disagree that you say he didn't offer anything on the ground. It, it looked to me when I watched the fight that he looked like he knew what he was doing. He was trying to get his butterflies. He was trying to get the distance. He was trying to get to a hip. He just was struggling with Jalen Turner's length. Jalen Turner is a huge dude on the ground that you know somewhat knows what he's doing down there. It was just able to, every time Euros was able to scram, almost scram by position, Jalen was just blanketing him and getting him back into the ground. But you mentioned it 100%. We found out that Euros is a hammer, not a nail. He cannot be a nail. The second you put pressure on him he starts folding and as they as that fight was going on they they talked about how euros prides himself on the mental aspect of fights i'm so mentally strong he was getting hit and he wanted no part of that fight once he started getting hit he was i mean just running away from jalen turner and eventually was uh, dropped and on the ground and then was submitted in that fight so if you're Omar, you got to take that film and you just got to get all over him early. Pressure him, try to get him on the ground early, just fluster him to see if he will break again. If you cannot do that, Euros Medic is going to win this fight. So I'm going to be, I'm going to play the Euro side. 
I'm going to give him one more chance to prove that he can come out and be that aggressive guy that we've seen it time and time and time again. But if he folds again under the pressure, I'm no more uh, Euros at all. So I'm picking the Euro side. He's at such a good gym, too. He's at King's MMA with, you know, he, he trains with Giga. Giga actually fought Omar and beat Omar. So there's that that, that part. Uh, Marvin Vittori, Kevin Gaslam. There's a lot of training partners at that, at that gym. I feel like he's going to be pretty ready for this fight. So underdog role. Eligible for lock of the week. We'll see what happens Wednesday, but my pick is Yoros Medik. Yeah, I mean, literally every single person in the live chat except one is saying Yoros Medik. Every single one. And I know he's probably the most popular pick this week as far as underdogs are concerned. And I get it. He's, he's, just, a dangerous he's just so striker. dangerous. Yeah, he's, he's just so dangerous. Man, my throat is just jacked up. I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, anyway, $8,400 in DraftKings. This is a pick your side because this likely ends by stoppage. I was just pulling up the odds on my other screen here. I, I have two screens. I'm, I'm doing really well in life. Um, the other – I pulled up the odds. The under is minus two – hold on. Let me look at it again. The under is minus 160, which is – that's pretty that's solid for an one under. one and a half? Two and a half. I don't know why the line is so high at two and a half when Uros Medic has never, ever he's been. He's never been there. He's never been that far. But anyway, the under is minus 160. That's probably a pretty safe uh, pretty safe bet there. But I don't know. I'm on the Morales side. You guys all love except one. You all love Uros, Uros Medic. $7,800 Uros. in DraftKings. Pick your side because this is likely a stop. It's for either one of those guys. More left monkey knife fight strike line. Man, 61 to 54. I don't know. I'm going to have to pull up their last fights and see how many strikes they got off in those. You know you know what the odds are for Omar? Omar has a better inside the distance odds than Euros. Omar's is plus 145 and Euros is plus 225. That's kind of surprising, honestly. Well, he's the favorite. He's almost a two to one favorite. I know, but. Yeah. Because their losses, they both lost because of losses. grappling. Losses. Like, dude, my phone, my voice is a mess. Their losses were because of grappling, but <laughs> Uros quit in his. He quit. Where Omar Morales did yeah, not. He was, he was beating, getting beat on and working his way up and working and just doing everything possible. And he was just beaten. Where Uros quit. And I think the the bookies do not like that when they see that. So Anyway, um, you and I are split on this fight. We'll see what happens. And if you want 50 free bucks, I'll tell you what happens. You go to weonpicks.com slash bets. You sign up with any one of our five betting partners. You make a deposit. And I send you $50 as a thank you. I paid out six people before we went live tonight, which is honestly. Hell yeah. It's, it's painful. I actually hate paying, but whatever. Five of those thankful. are my accounts. I'm, th I'm thankful for the support. Weonpicks.com slash bets.